what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to just be a quick video on the topic of the upcoming 2018 film we are less than 15 days away from the release of david gordon green's 2018 halloween the follow-up to the 1978 classic by john carpenter uh, the film is set 40 years later and is going to be following Laurie Strode who has been preparing for Michael's inevitable return and when Michael finally does escape uh, Smith's Grove Sanitarium, her and Michael are going to come to their perhaps what it seems to be their final confrontation. I just wanted to do a quick one last video addressing this film before it actually comes out because I'm not going to do any more videos on Halloween 2018 until I post my spoiler free review as well as my spoiler review. I just wanted to say that I am very excited for the release of this film. I am very much appreciative of what David Gordon Green and his whole team have done. It seems to be one of the best Halloween sequels we're going to be getting since the original came out all those years ago, 40 years ago. What I appreciate even more about what the team involved with this film has done is that it seems they have their own passion for the series and for the genre because they already have ideas to continue it if it is successful and what i what i appreciate about that the reason i appreciate this is because consistency with the creative team is what i feel that this series needs the most the halloween series ever since the second film from 1981 every other sequel after that was written and written by a different group of people each sequel following halloween 2 was written and handled by a different creative team each time and i feel that that's what was one of the biggest detriments to this series the lack of creativity being consistent across the board and all these people that kept on coming on board trying to basically make cash grab sequels because that's what it felt like it felt like after after the second film it felt like every other sequel following halloween 2 from 1981 it felt like the people involved with the film we're just trying to make quick cash grab sequels and just trying to make money off of the notoriety from to, from the 1978 john carpenter classic and what i appreciate about david gordon green and danny mcbride is that they seem to want to be moving forward with if a sequel were to move forward they seem to be wanting to take this series and carve their own path and make their own consistent timeline because what ultimately I feel is going to happen is if this film actually does get several sequels, I don't think it's going to get multiple sequels. The maximum I think it's going to get is around at least two or three. If David Gordon Green and Danny McBride are involved every time for this for this new timeline that we're going to be getting introduced to in 15 short days, I think that's going to be one of the more that has to be by default. It's going to have to be by default the one of the more consistent narratives that we have finally gotten for michael myers because like i said after halloween 2 every other sequel was done by a different group of people who had different ideas and wanted to do different things that's why you have that's why you have these gigantic narrative narrative expansions as far as like the mythos surrounding michael myers you have the different ideas that are introduced the curse of thorn the druids the whole mythos surrounding michael myers all of this stuff is is brought in by people who were not present in the last film they're bringing in their own ideas and then people are moving on to the next film and they're bringing on a new crew and they're trying to bring in their own ideas while expanding on what the last crew did there's nothing there hasn't been anything consistent with the narrative of michael myers since halloween 2 from 1981 and i what i respect about this new film is that it finally seems that we are going to have a group of people who want to remain true to the narrative and they want to finally create a consistent timeline where we are being illustrated things that are not just outlandish because different people are involved if the same group of people are involved i think that's going to be one of the biggest biggest uh positives moving forward for this series because the biggest detriment in my opinion for halloween and the whole series as a whole is the fact that they have not had a solid consistent creative team since the second film uh I am very excited for this film. I cannot wait to see what happens on screen. I hope Jamie Lee Curtis and Michael Myers have one of because the, the the showdown they had in H2O while that was something special to see. I hope this one actually blows that one out of the water. Uh, I'm excited to see what Andy Matichak and Judy Greer bring to the table, and I'm just excited to see this film in general. 
Uh, if you guys plan on seeing Halloween 2018 when it comes out in theaters, let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and turn on post notifications. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies you would like me to review in the future. Also, guys, stay tuned for tomorrow because I am going to be uploading another uh, movie review for the month of October.